Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. What is your money really worth? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money. The Worry-Free Retirement with your host, five-time author and retirement specialist, the annuity king himself, Tony Walker. So now we are officially 20% below the recent highs on the S&P, closing in bear market territory. Ed, what's your advice to investors? <clears throat> Well, I think between now and year end, there isn't much uh, left here. Uh, we're probably going to continue to see this uh, downward pressure. There is a lot of uh, year end selling going on. There was chaos here, too. The opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange may have been rung by dancers from the fairy tale ballet, the Nutcracker, but the shortened trading day was a nightmare before Christmas. The 653-point drop adding to the worst month since the 2008 financial crisis and adding to the ire of a president fixated by the stock market. Well, that was some Christmas Eve. Uh, you and Martha are sitting there, unbeknownst to you, just hanging stockings right over the chimney there, while at the same time, the stock market is going down the chimney and into the flames. This past uh, December's free fall of the stock market will go down as one, not the worst, but as one of the worst Decembers since 1931. So what with the reminder coming at us again that, as I always say, nobody can time the stock market. Yep, not even all those expert pundits that were on there. That, that actually was comical, folks. Uh, obviously, I had a vested interest in this. We have a lot of clients that have some of their money in the market. So certainly I was concerned, but it was just comical to see all of these different people weigh in. And, and what was even funny is some of them acted like they knew this was going to happen. I'm like, yeah, really? Uh, you wouldn't be on some talk show uh, talking about that. If you knew this was going to happen, you would have already set yourself to make a lot of money on this nosedive. But it does beg the question, when we see the stock market going up and down like this, not even just the stock market, the question is, what is your money, my money, really worth? Well, welcome, folks, to the Worry-Free Retirement. I am that uh, little man in the sweater vest who continually brings you all this good information geared towards savers. And yes, for the next 28 minutes or so, we're going to venture into this concept of what is money worth. Now, before you say, hey, wait a minute, I thought he was going to be talking about annuities. We are. Uh, in fact, if you're just now joining us, we have a five-part series. Uh, we covered the first part last week on annuities. So basically, the four types of annuities we will be covering over the next several weeks. Last week, we talked about variable annuities. Today, we're going to be talking about fixed interest annuities. The following week, we'll be talking about fixed indexed annuities. Week four, immediate annuities. And then finally, we're going to wrap up the annuity conversation with my favorite. How do we make sense of these annuities with something we've trademarked called the worry-free split IRA concept? Again. So, but we go back to this whole notion of, boy, I had, you know, $100,000 and the next thing I know it's worth 80. Or it felt like my 401k just overnight became a 201k. How come most of these so-called stock market experts didn't see this coming? And now going into 2019, worse yet, should we believe whatever they tell us? Do we get out of the market? Do we get in? Uh, incidentally, uh, we do have a platform that we use through Charles Schwab and we have three portfolios for what it's worth, don't rush out and do this just on account of me, but we are backing off on our portfolios. In fact, we've created something, you might be interested in this, called the Ultra Conservative Portfolio that we will manage for you for six tenths of 1% that will include zero risk in the stock market. Really good stuff. In fact, in the next segment, we're gonna talk about the conservative risk continuum. Really, really good stuff. And we'll plot that on the continuum and talk about that. But in the meantime, here we are, the Worry-Free Retirement TV show. We're shooting this episode in our Louisville offices with America's favorite financial sidekick, Aaron Orander, 
and his sidekick, uh, Matt Stebbins, January 2nd, 2019. So I do wish all of our viewers a happy new year. Also, we're excited about uh, additional TV stations that we've added. Uh, another TV station in Louisville, and now a television station in my old sto home stopping ground where I was born and raised in Lexington, Kentucky. So now the Worry-Free Retirement Television Show is on six major networks. You can check out the times and the actual stations. Uh, just go to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, click on the TV there, and it'll list the different stations. Also, if you want to DVR the program, that's a good way to go back and rewatch one of the episodes. So let's talk about this concept of worth, because you thought you were worth, in this example, $100,000, literally overnight, you look at your statement and it's worth 80 or whatever. So the question is, savers have to ask themselves this, what is my money worth? And as we think about the stock market, how much money should I really be risking, especially if I'm a saver, and particularly if I'm retired or nearing retirement? Now, the vast majority of the consumers out there, what I'm going to share with you today, uh, I've said this before, I know, but I think this is one of the most important shows I'm going to share with consumers because I'm afraid many consumers out there, this might be you, really don't understand the concept of worth and then net worth, all right? This is key because everything, everything, we're going to show you this in the next segment, comes with it a cost. So unless you've got a $100 bill, let's take that example. Unless you've got a $100 bill in your pocket, that's the most accurate thing that we can tell you that is your net worth. Because obviously, if you wanted to run down to the local mall or run over to the drugstore and use that $100 bill, you've got it. It's in your pocket, it's worth $100, and we know what it's worth. But not so with other items and other investments. In fact, let me give you an example of this. Let's kind of detail this graphically here. Let's imagine you have a home that you think is worth $200,000. Now you think it's worth $200,000 because let's say last year you just bought it for $200,000 and you say, well, Tony, that's what it's got to be worth because I just paid $200,000 for this home. So surely it's worth $200,000. Then we might be looking at your other assets and I notice you've got a 401k plan and the statement says it's worth $100,000, all right? Then we keep talking and you look out there in your driveway and you got two cars and you go on Kelly Blue Book and it says both those cars are worth totally $30,000. Uh, you drag out your bank statement and you look at that and it says you have a bank account, maybe it's a savings account or a checking account, worth $10,000. And then the final asset you might have, let's say you've got an annuity and it says on there it's worth $60,000. And you say, oh great, I'm worth $400,000. And if you stop there, that is completely correct. You are worth $400,000. But you know what? That worth is on paper. Remember, until those monies are converted to cash and more importantly used, that's really what we call funny money. So let's think about what is that really worth? Well, now you have to add in this term called net. So it's net worth. Well, Tony, what in the world does net worth mean? Well, we have to take what you think those assets are worth and we have to subtract something from them because all assets, listen, you're going to see this in the next segment, it's really cool stuff. All assets have to subtract the net and that's what we call net worth. Those are what's called liabilities. So for instance, let's take that home. It's maybe worth 200,000, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, it depends on when you sell it, but let's stay with the 200,000. But if you owe $100,000 on that home, we have to subtract the 100,000 from your total worth of 400,000, right? If you added up everything, that leaves you a net worth of 300,000. Uh, let's take my most, my most favorite asset to talk about this. This usually kind of messes up people's day because they haven't thought about it. Let's take your 401k plan. You think it's worth $100,000 because you just got a statement, right? And it's worth 100,000, but I say, wait a minute. Remember the government has a lien on that thing. It's called a tax tumor. And depending on when you take that money out, there's different levels of taxes. So what's it worth? We don't know until you take it out, pay the government their fair share and move on. Uh, you might have an annuity. Now I love annuities. They're great products, but if you have an annuity and let's say you just bought that annuity last year, we're going to talk about this in the next segment with fixed interest annuities and you surrender that annuity, well, you're going to have a penalty. So your worth has to be subtracted from that worth, what's called liabilities, assets minus liabilities, equals net worth. 
So with all of the economic mumbo jumbo going on, with all of the different opinions and uncertainties, we have to come back home to our roots as savers and say, wait a minute, why in the world would I be taking all of this risk if I don't have to? And when I come back, I'm going to explain the net worth continuum, conservative versus aggressive assets, and this one magical product that you may want to really consider investing in called a fixed interest annuity. I'm going to get the whiteboard out. I'll be right back. You're watching The Worry-Free Retirement. Are you retired or retiring soon? Do you have a 401k, IRA, thrift savings account, 403b, or lump sum pension that you'd like to move to safer territory? Did you know that all the money you see on your 401k statement isn't really yours? Depending on your overall taxable income, the government has essentially a lien on your 401k that can tax as much as 40% of your money when you go to take it out. Tony Walker calls this the 401k tax tumor. For over 33 years, retirement specialist Tony Walker has helped thousands of savers worry less about money by creating game plans to deal with your tax tumor. Get control of your retirement by controlling the taxes owed on it. Schedule a free meeting to see if you can reduce your tax tumor and provide a guaranteed income you can never outlive. To get started, simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. So basically what we are talking about is what is your money really worth? And if we think of a continuum of just all the different investment, the investment products, uh, where you could be investing money, it has to go on this continuum. And the continuum starts way over here on the left side, what we would call guaranteed money, all right? Or we might wanna use my cheat notes here. We might wanna call this real money, all right? The example would be a hundred dollar bill. A hundred dollar bill is about as real as it gets. That's what we would call real money. We know what it's worth. It's liquid and it's guaranteed and it can be spent now. Now on the other end of the spectrum, we go way over here to speculative investments. Uh, not to say anything negative about Bitcoin, but Bitcoin would be an example of something very, very speculative. And we would call that funny money because the definition of net worth is knowing something less the liabilities equals the net worth. And in this case, if we had a bunch of money in Bitcoin or really quite frankly, any stock, we might know what it's worth on paper that day, but until that dollar is converted to cash, put in your pocket and actually spent, we really don't know what it's worth. So let's just kind of look at this. Now for savers, remember, all the information we share and all of the clients we work with are what I call the saver personality. The saver personality is predominantly that person that is more concerned about the return of their money than on it. So obviously a saver versus an investor or speculator is going to probably look at most of their assets. We would say at least 70% of their assets should be farther down this spectrum of guarantees and less funny money. So what are some assets that savers particularly would look at? Well, we already talked about cash, all right? Cash in your pocket, that would be way down the guaranteed spectrum, plenty of liquidity, and they know exactly what it's worth. You move over just slightly, and you could literally be money in the bank. <clears throat> that would be like a checking account. That would be the most liquid. Now you could come down here, and also you could maybe put a CD under that, the reason it's a little farther over is because of the liquidity. It's moved over a little farther because if you needed that CD, let's say in two years, and it was a five-year CD, there's a little bit of penalties. Now, one of my favorites we put over here, there's two types. We have the fixed interest annuities, okay? I'm gonna put annuities over here. And then we have the fixed indexed. And we've been talking about the four types of annuities. There's four types, variable, fixed interest, fixed indexed, and immediate. A variable annuity, which we do not recommend for savers, because it is in the stock market, we might put a variable annuity way over here, okay? The other reason we don't recommend variable annuities for savers is due to the high fees. Now, if we kind of keep going over here, we might say, well, Tony, depending on the types of stocks, all right, 
They would be over here. Uh, it gets kind of crowded. You see where I'm going with this. Certain types of mutual funds could be over here, or depending on the makeup of the mutual fund, it might be less risky. Another type of mutual fund, or we could even put ETFs in here, would be on this side. So again, what we're trying to do with our saver clients, we're understanding this continuum. We're trying to make sure we understand how much risk they want to take. We're trying to help the saver understand that a lot of this money is on paper. You take your 401k plan, for instance. Let's say your 401k is down here. You've elected to have your 401k pretty much in the market. Well, the, on, on paper, let's say that 401k is worth $300,000. But we come down here and think of all the things we have to subtract. We have to subtract the risk. I mean, there's no guarantees that's going to be worth $300,000 tomorrow, as we saw back on Christmas Eve of 2018. Uh, we have to subtract, we call it the tax tumor. And then depending on how long you leave it in there, we have to subtract what's called LLC, because that's lost opportunity cost. Because if you could get, not get access to that money, and for some reason you needed that money, the 401k theoretically could be costing you money. So what is the point with all this, Tony? Well, if you're a saver at Tony Walker Financial, this is who we help. We are focused on helping savers worry less about money. And even with our platform through Charles Schwab, not only do we do a lot of annuities, fixed interest and fixed index are our specialty, but also through the Charles Schwab, we can make sure that that portfolio is more so on this side of the ledger, more on the, we can't always say guarantee, but more of it is going to be on the guaranteed side with less of it on the speculative side. Now, when we return, I'm going to go into a deep dive on fixed interest annuities. So if you're sitting there saying, Tony, how can I put my money somewhere safe and get a guaranteed interest rate that I can live on? Is there such a product out there? There is. Let me turn the whiteboard around. We'll be right back with fixed interest annuities. What if there was a financial product that could guarantee an income you could never outlive? A product that is not at risk in the stock market. Well, there is, and it's called an annuity. And for the past 34 years, I've personally helped thousands of savers secure over $300 million of annuities. So why risk your hard-earned money when you don't have to? Let's meet in person to see if an annuity is right for you. Log on today to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Worried about running out of money in retirement? For a limited time, five-time author and retirement specialist Tony Walker is making available his latest book, Mailbox Money for Life. For your free copy, simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. You know, one of the most common questions I get from savers is, Tony, surely the goodness there's something out there that's guaranteed, provides a competitive rate of interest that I can live on, and also protects my principal but does it tie up my money for long periods of time? And I would say the fixed interest annuity might be just the ticket you're looking for. So let's take a look at a fixed interest annuity and how exactly these do work. Obviously, any annuity is going to be issued by an insurance company. Now, in this example I'm going to share with you, I had a gentleman uh, that wanted to put approximately a million dollars of their 401k into something like this, but he said, Tony, I don't want all my eggs in one basket. Can you divide this up against several insurance companies? I said, no problem. Now, by the way, we try to only use insurance companies that are rated A minus excellent or better by AM Best. So keep in mind that will affect the rates too. If you go down into lower tier companies with less ratings, sometimes you can get higher rates. Also, we're filming this on January 2nd, 2019. Do not hold me to these rates. These rates fluctuate a lot. So again, kind of look at this conceptual. But uh, i tell you what I'm going to do, just so I can do the math real quick. We're going to imagine that this person had $900,000, and we were going to divide this up with three insurance companies. So we put $300,000 with insurance company A, B, and C. So not only did that diversify the money among several insurance companies, it allowed us to ladder these fixed interest annuities. So the premium, that's the amount of money you put in. Now the term, on this one, I used a five-year term. The second one, we used a six-year term. And the last annuity, we used a seven-year term. Well, my, why would we do that? Well, it's just like a bank CD. With an insurance company and a fixed interest annuity, the longer you're allowing them to hold on to the money, the more interest they're going to pay. That makes sense. 
So what we did here, we shopped around. The five-year annuity with the one company paid 3.5%, 3.75%, and then guaranteed 4% on the seven-year annuity. Now, if you take on average, that's 3.75% per year. That's pretty darn good on $900,000. I mean, that's, what is that, $28,000, $29,000 a year of guaranteed income. Now, the person could elect to roll the interest back into the annuity and let it accumulate. They could take it out of part of it, or they could just have the interest sent to them monthly. Really, really convenient, and we can handle all the details on this. But you've got to remember, also, there are surrender charges. So we wouldn't want to put 100% of our money in this because if you did have to get money out, remember now we're talking about net worth. The worth of these annuities is 900,000, but now what's the net worth? If you had to take it out early prior to the term, it could be anywhere from, uh, we'll just say it's 5%, all right? So out of that 300,000, if you liquidated these in the first year, they could charge as much as $15,000 on each annuity to get it out. That would affect the worth of it. You also have taxes. Whether an annuity is in a qualified or non-qualified, just like anything else, there's going to be taxes on this money, which will affect the worth of those annuities. And then finally, the beauty of a fixed interest annuity, this is what I love about them. You hear there's a fellow on TV a lot. He's kind of a, he's an older gentleman. He seems to always be in a terrible mood and he's always talking about how he hates annuities and all these fees. Well, that's only on certain types of annuities. With a fixed interest annuity, there are no fees whatsoever. So again, what we're trying to do is set the stage for savers. This is not a product more than likely an investor or speculator would want to put their money in. This is for that person that's more concerned about the return of their money than on it. So you might say, well, Tony, those are pretty high rates, though. Why is that? Well, an insurance company, because interest rates are going up right now, is able to position themselves to buy very, very good, safe, secure bonds, and those bonds are paying higher and higher yields, so they're able to pass those savings on to you. Now, Tony Walker Financial, our job as a fiduciary is to, first of all, make sure annuities are right for you, make sure you are a saver personality, and then more importantly, select the appropriate annuities that are going to work best in your situation. So here's what I would suggest you do. Click on this Let's Get Started button. It's found at TonyWalkerFinancial.com. We'll take a look at that and look at your situation to make sure the proper annuity is used and that the annuity is right for you. Now, when I return, I'm going to talk about worth, but not worth according to man's standards, but worth according to God's. I'll be right back. I got to get me a cup of coffee. You stay tuned. Tired of the roller coaster ride of the stock market? Let Tony Walker show you how to smooth out the ride with your money. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and let's get started. Are you retired or retiring soon? Can you afford for your money to take a hit with the stock market being so volatile these days? Nobody can time the market, but having a retirement game plan with Tony Walker Financial gives you peace of mind and sleep insurance. Learn how to prevent losses in your retirement accounts and plan your retirement around an income you can never outlive. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com today to schedule a personal meeting with Tony to secure your hard-earned money. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement with the money missionary himself, Tony Walker. All right, uh, we've been talking about net worth and how man measures it. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, your money is worth only what it is at the time you spend it. And even then, it's only worth what the world says it is at the time you purchase something or trade that money in for something else. Uh, I always like to use the example, can you imagine a, a dollar bill, how big of a Hershey bar that would buy? You could buy a gargantuan Hershey bar for a dollar back in 1960, whereas now that same dollar only buys a smaller Hershey bar. That's called inflation. So we have taxes, inflation, fees, insurance premiums. All these things affect what our money is really worth. So remember, until it's liquidated, converted to cash, and spent, we really don't know what something is worth. Actually, these are basically debts. We have debts, liabilities against our money. And when it's on paper, that debt or those liabilities, again, erode our wealth. So everything you own is subject to it possibly going down. 
it's worth less over time. That's called the law of diminishing returns. So the problem is in this world, our flesh, the only measure for the success is we start with the beginning investment, subtract all the cost, and then at the end we have to look at what do we have left over. Now the beauty is God's economy doesn't work this way. See, God measures net worth not by assuming we'll one day be rich on paper, but rather that right now, regardless of how much you're worth on paper, you're already rich. Not because of something we've done, not because of something we've saved, but because of something He provided through Christ. So in the eyes of God, whether you believe this or not, He sees your net worth as associated with Christ. In fact, 2 Corinthians, look at this, 8, 9, let's turn there. 2 Corinthians 8, 9 says this, Though He, that's Christ, was rich yet for your sakes and my sake, He became poor. See, Jesus died in order that we might live. He was rich, but He came, became poor so that we might become rich. And I say this because I talk to a lot of people from this show. I know some of you feel like you're struggling. You don't have a lot of money. Your net worth may not be, it may be zero. You may not have any net worth. Uh, in fact, I met a person the other day who lost a loved one, and the person was so financially behind the eight ball, the person committed suicide over such an act. And this is, folks, you don't have to feel that way. You are worth, in the eyes of God, much more than you could ever imagine, even on paper, if you're not. But you have to manage it. God gives us all the ability. He gives us all 24 hours a day. And at least what I try to do with my clients is give them the tools to better manage what they have, regardless of whether they're worth 50000 or $5 million. So here's what I'd ask you to do. Take the time to go to our website at TonyWalkerFinancial.com and then just simply click on the Let's Get Started. Now what we will do, we will have an appointment either by phone or in person at either our Bowling Green or Louisville, Kentucky office to simply review your net worth. We get a starter kit, we mail that to you. You will bring with your uh, starter kit a tax return so I can see what your most recent taxes are to see if we can save you on taxes. You'll bring all your investment statements, your 401k statements, if you have any old annuities, life insurance statements, and let us just go through a review. Once we determine that, we'll determine your level of risk to see how much we ought to safeguard. We'll talk about mailbox money and how we, with the Worry-Free Retirement, can help implement a strategy that'll help you be more worry-free about your future. So do it now. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Click on that Let's Get Started button, and let's get started right away. Well, in the meantime, I've enjoyed being with you. Remember, next week, we're going to be talking about fixed indexed annuities. It's going to be a good episode, but between now and then, if all else fails, you remember to be worry-free. Make it a good one. Thank you for watching The Worry-Free Retirement with Tony Walker. If you need a safe and simple game plan for your retirement, log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and schedule a free, no-obligation meeting with Tony.